Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Kilis, and I teach English and communication sometimes and humanities at the Fauquier campus. I also um, am the advisor for the English Honor Society Sigma Kappa Delta. Um, I will do that job with a lot of assistance from our st student services king, uh, Chris Lambert. And so some of you may have spoken to Chris in the past um, to get Sigma Kappa information and it's fantastic. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about Sigma Kappa Delta and then what it takes to get into Sigma Kappa Delta and why you might be interested. So number one, Sigma Kappa Delta, which is called SKD, is not unlike PTK, which many people have heard of, in that it's an honor society. Um, that sort of recognition of your academic achievement, and in this case, your interest in English. Um, you don't have to be an English major or even planning to be in a career in English to join Sigma Kappa Delta, um, but it does suggest that you're kind of leaning in that direction. Um, so to belong to Sigma Kappa Delta, uh, thank you, Chris. Chris is opening it for us. Um, so there's a national organization called Sigma Kappa Delta, and they have set sort of some parameters. Um, number one, you have to be enrolled in at least one LFCC course this semester. You have to have completed a minimum of two credit college courses in English literature or English in general with a grade of e or A or B. So for example, if you took 111, English 111 and English 112 in high school and you got an A or a B, or if you took those two classes at Lord Fairfax by Zoom or face-to-face -face or by any means and you got an A or a B, then you would be eligible. Um, or let's say you took 111 in some, or 112 in some lit class, um, that would be good too. Um, you must have a minimum overall GPA of 3.0, and you must to have completed at least one semester of college coursework, which is 12 courses. So you can see how for most people, this means that they're going to be kind of at the sophomore level um, to be a part of it, Sigma Kappa Delta. Um, so let me tell you why you might be interested in Sigma Kappa Delta. Um, and this is the, the spiel that I often give my students. Um, community college students are busy. It's, it's just the nature of who students are who go to Lord Fairfax. They have jobs, they have families, they are worried about their GPA. And so among all those things that they do, often the college activities like PTK or SKD or some other club um, gets pushed way to the background. And I totally get that. That makes sense. You're just prioritizing. The problem is, is that when you leave Lord Fairfax and you go to a four-year institution, or even if you're going out into the job market, employers and departments and people who are giving grants, uh, people who are giving scholarships, they almost want to know how you were involved with your school. And too often the community college students don't have a good way to fill that in. And so SKD is a great way to fill that in. It is an honor society so we are not required to have some sort of participation, um, good work, service type things. Although in the past, the members of SKD have been really active and wanted to do that type of thing. If you want to just sign up, get the credential uh, and get acknowledgement for your interest in English, that's fine. Um, so Chris, can we move on to contacts? Cool. All right. So here are the two people. Um, Kim Lewis, me, is the faculty advisor. That's Lewis at lfcc.edu. And I'm the one who's kind of pushing this organization. I'm the faculty advisor. Um, and if we decide to do activities, then I'm the one that would probably be organizing that. 
Our membership coordinator is Chris Lambert and his email is on this as well. And um, Chris is the guy who is, has been handling things like signing you up. Um, okay, so how about on to meetings, Chris? All right, so we're having the information system a meeting right now. Um, in addition, we will probably try and organize some meetings. Once again, these meetings will not be mandatory. I know everybody's worried about their schedule, particularly with COVID and having kids at home and work stuff, I understand. But we will probably have a couple of meetings just to get the group started. Um, probably immediately after spring break is sort of what I'm thinking. Um, and so I can find out if you guys are interested in doing something during the last couple of weeks of the year. Okay. One thing that SKDs do that is really important is that SKD, along with my creative writing class, um, is in charge of the Lord Fairfax literary magazine called Growl. Um, and just in case you're interested, the mascot for Lord Fairfax is lion, and the lion's voice is the growl. So thus we are called the growl. Um, so the growl uh, organization, um, excuse me, the growl literary magazine has um, an organizational group that serves as the editorial board of directors and they decide things like what submissions are gonna go into the journal, how we're gonna place them, maybe the layout of the journal. As members of SKD, you are automatically invited to be part of that growl uh, publication process. Um, any student at the college is also allowed to submit to growl and um, that growl information is on this handout. And so um, I'm not gonna go through it all right now, but please pay attention to growl if you are interested in getting your work published. There is no guarantee that publication is going to happen because we do have an editorial board. And that's one of the things that makes this such a quality magazine is that we have student editors who are making decisions about growl. Um, so that's the big thing that we have going on in the spring. And with any luck, we'll have a couple other things as well. So once again, please, please feel free to send me an email. That's Kay Lewis if you want more information about Growl or SKD or anything else. Chris Lambert is also able to answer questions and help get you started. And I really do hope that you'll take control over having some co-curricular activities, if not SKD, then something else. Thank you so much. It was really good to talk to you. Bye.